the uncondensed chromatin or the euchromatin it resembles beads on a string when viewed under the electron microscope so uh, uh, in the interphase when the cell is not dividing you know the chromosomes are not present that time so all the chromatin that is uh, in uh, uncondensed form so in that form if we uh, see uh, the chromatin under electron microscope it appears uh, 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 beads on a string each bead is a nucleoprotein complex which is nucleosome as you can see in this uh, electron micrograph there are so many beads on the uh, string uh, like this so uh, these beads are called nucleosomes actually these are nucleosomes which are present each nucleosome is formed by winding dna fiber around a protein assembly and this protein assembly it consists of eight histone molecules and then the two nucleosomes in this uh, uh, string the two nucleosomes are connected uh, through the dna which is called linker dna here in this uh, you can see two nucleosomes one is this and the other one is this and each nucleosome consists of eight histone molecules and the two nucleosomes are connected through this linker dna so this is uh, the uh, structure of uncondensed chromatin the size of the linker dna between the nucleosomes is uh, variable among different organisms even uh, this length is variable in the same organism between different organs or tissues for example if the chromatin is isolated from one tissue the length of this linker is different from the chromatin isolated from some other tissue so this uh, length is variable between different organs or tissues of the same organism and between different organisms so how uh, can we study the length of this uh, linker uh, dna uh, this linker dna can be digested with nucleases so uh, the nuclease after nuclease digestion we can find out the length of uh, this linker dna the length of dna that is wrapped around nucleosome that is wrapped around uh, histones in a nucleosome it also varies from one organism to the other organism the length of the whole dna that is wrapped around eight molecules of histone this length varies from uh, about uh, 170 to 240 base pairs so uh, uh, what is the uh, variation of uh, uh, the length of uh, linker uh, dna and the length of this uh, uh, wrapped dna uh, the significance of this variation is still unclear uh, however if we uh, continue the digestion of uh, chromatin the prolonged nucleus digestion of the chromatin cleaves additional nucleoside nucleotides so uh, after uh, uh, slight digestion uh, a nucleosome uh, contains some uh, uh, extended uh, dna molecule but uh, after a prolonged nucleus digestion these extended uh, dna is also digested and then uh, there remains a, a single uh, core which is uh, uh, called nucleosome core particle so this nucleosome core particle uh, which remains after prolonged digestion it consists of an octameric protein complex and this octameric protein complex contain eight histone molecules two copies of each 
एच टू ए एच टू बी एच थ्री एंड एच फोर सो ऑल दीज एट हिस्टोन मॉलिक्यूल्स एंड अबाउट वन फोर्टी सिक्स बेस पेयर रैप्ड डी एन ए फ्रेगमेंट सो दिस कॉन्स्टिट्यूट्स दिस न्यूक्लियर न्यूक्लियोसोम कोर पार्टिकल here you can see this is the chromatin fiber and if we digest this fiber with the nuclease the linker dna this this will be digested and these nucleosomes will be produced and if we keep on digesting these chromatin fibers with the nucleases then it results into nucleosome core particle here uh, you can see this is nucleosome core particle and in this particle there are eight histone molecules and around this octameric complex there are hardly two rounds of two rounds of this dna molecule so this is nucleosome core particle